Hi, I'm Dave Betts with SMC Corporation. Today, I want to talk to you and show you a demonstration of our EXW1 compact wireless remote. It includes a base unit and one remote. The base unit I've connected through OPC UA into the laptop, but it is available in multiple protocols. The base unit is capable of 1,444 bytes of data, or bytes of I.O. You can have multiple remote units. This I.O. link remote is capable of 128 bytes of data and I.O. Right. So what I'm connecting to is a position switch, kind of like an LVDT a vacuum transducer, the EX260 solenoid manifold firing outputs, and then a third-party MER digital input block I.O. link hub. Connecting the EXW1 to the laptop to begin programming and setting up the I.O. requires I.O. configurator. It's a free download from smcworld.com, and you will need an NFC reader. This plugs into your USB port, and then you place it on top of your base unit. Once you do that, you will also need to assign the IP address to the base unit. SMC World has a great how-to video on registering and pairing a remote unit to the base. Please visit smcworld.com slash exw1 how-to videos. You can see here that I've already registered my IO link remote to the base. When I go to the parameters and refresh, you will see the remote unit and I'll expand and you'll be able to see the IO link ports, the four ports that are connected to my instrumentation and solenoids. The next step is to log in to the web interface by using the IP address. All of these instructions are found in the operation manuals. Go to the OPCUA module. Make sure you have a discovery server assigned. In this case, it's my laptop IP address. That becomes very helpful with the timestamp. Here is where you will create your tags for the devices that I have connected. The offset byte, the size, and the position are very important. You will need to refer to the operation manual for the beginning of the process data and where it needs to fit in this mapping. And also notice here for the solenoids, I have enabled the, uh, I have enabled the write feature. So I'm going to write the tag and then I'm set to go into UA Expert. UA Expert is not uh, an SMC product. It is recommended from the OPC UA Foundation. It is a free software and it allows you to do some very basic data logging. What you'll see here, you'll add a server because the SMC base unit actually has an OPC UA server built in. Once you add the server, which is the IP address, you'll expand the device set and then the parameter set and here you will see your tags. Some of these are default, but as you can see, I have dragged and dropped the tags for my primary devices. When I change the value in the solenoid valve, you can see the different components shifting. If you have questions or would like to see a local demonstration, please reach out to your local SMC representative or distributor. Thank you very much.
please like and subscribe.